all the stuff to do with hometown days, the carnival, everything. It went smooth because of you guys, uh, all the people that showed up to the carnival just to be friendly faces, all that kind of stuff. You guys were awesome. So thank you so much for helping with that. Um, thank you, Erica, for all the work she did. She's, she's the queen of hometown days stuff, and she did, a, she did a ton of work getting ready for that. So um, here are some announcements. Uh, the ladies' heart-to-heart Bible study is uh, for a little bit, probably not very long. Um, they're not going to be having that. Um, Tamara wanted me to tell everybody her dad did pass away this week. Uh, and she just wanted to thank you guys for all the prayers. Uh, we actually drove up there and saw her, and she misses you guys a ton. And uh, so hopefully she'll be back pretty soon. But um, if you want to text her or any, anything like that, tell her you're thinking about her. Uh, I'm sure she would really appreciate that. Um, but there is a, something for the ladies on September 16th at 4. Um, they're going to be doing a recipe swap. So if you want to get some recipes from the other ladies, come to that um, and bring your favorite fast, simple dish. And I will come in and see if there's leftovers afterwards. Um, Encounter Student Ministries, nine weeks of summer is over. Woo! We made it. <laughs> it was all John and Amanda, man. They, they did a lot this summer with the kids. And Erica, yeah. Sorry, Erica. I, I just meant. But, yeah, they, they, uh, those kids... Uh, Wore them out. So if you if you have students that attend Encounter Student Ministries, make sure you give them a big thank you. Uh, but nine weeks of summer is officially over. But tonight, um, youth is at five on Sunday nights, and uh, they gave away raffle tickets, and they're actually raffling off a TV tonight at youth. So tell all the students that you know that if they come to youth tonight, they could actually win a, a TV, which is pretty sweet. Um, and they can come early and get some stuff from the Snack Shack and play video games and hang out, all that kind of stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget about the Encounter Cafe downstairs. Uh, Amanda made me a five-shot coffee this morning because I told her I didn't sleep good. But she makes great coffee. We always have free coffee, but if you want to make a donation to Speed the Light, then you get uh, some really good specialty coffee made by Amanda. And uh, there's always snacks and stuff before church. Uh, so come a little bit early, hang out, eat some snacks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then boys and girls clubs are back um, starting this Wednesday. So if you have students, uh, bring them on Wednesday nights. Uh, it starts at 6.30. Um, they're going to do Bible study. They do all kinds of fun stuff. And then there's going to be adult Bible study up here, but that actually doesn't start until the 30th because uh, this week they're going to have the kids up here, adults and kids together, so make sure you come to that. And uh, kids from 3 to 17, it says, are invited to the Boys and Girls Clubs every week at 6.30, so uh, make sure you come to that. And for the little kids, um, there's going to be a movie night. Uh, movie in the park uh, on September 22nd. I believe it's the Rec Center Park. Yeah, September 22nd at the Rec Center Park at 7 p.m. So that's just a fun time to get out and go do something with your kids at the park. Uh, so put it on your calendar and, and make sure you're there for that. And I uh, think that's about it, Erica. Okay. Uh, actually, there, there's one more thing. Uh, a lot of people have been asking. We've tried to put it out there, but um, we're so happy Rose is here this morning. Um, and just want to rem- let you guys know, in case you haven't heard yet, uh, Ron's Celebration of Life is going to be on Tuesday here at Journey Church at 11 o'clock. So, and then there's going to be a, it is 11, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I was right. And then uh, there's going to be a reception at their house. And so come to that. Um, it, and... Uh, we're just really glad Rose is back, though. But Tuesday at 11, right here. All right, good morning. Mention men's breakfast. Men's breakfast, everyone. <laughs> no, uh, the first Saturday of every month, we get hit together here as men, and we uh, have some really good, unhealthy breakfast that's delicious. 
And uh, we go through a little Bible study, watch a video, and um, it's a really amazing time of conversation, being open and honest with our struggles as men. Um, there's no crying. But anyway, if you're a man and you would like to join us, 8 a.m. right here, first Saturday of every month. All right, everybody, let's stand and worship today. Search the world, but it couldn't fill me. The man's empty praise and treasures the fame are never enough. And you came along and put me back together. Is now satisfied here in your love. Come on, there's nothing. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing yeah. better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Come on, sing again. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you.
amen and amen. Heavenly Father, I just pray right now that your name would be glorified today. That no matter what happens today, tomorrow, or in the future, that we would know that you are our provider in Jesus' name. Pam decided to call me just now. So we're going to continue our worship this morning through our tithe and through our offering. How many of you guys know that we can never outgive God? Amanda and I have seen this in our lives. We've seen it in so many people's lives, and it's just so true that when we give faithfully, God does open up windows that, of heaven that cannot be contained. So there's multiple ways to give this morning. We have um, ushers in the back. There's a little black box on the back of the wall over there, and there's several ways to give online, too. Um, through text to give, and things like that. So, let's pray over our tithes and offerings this morning. This is our tithe. It will do what God says it will do. As I try, my Lord, you will open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that cannot be contained. I declare at this moment, surrounded by God's blessings I the seed of Abraham and what God declared to me you shall not lack any good thing that lies to me today in accordance with his word I will walk in his divine favor and prosperity no weapons formed against me or my family will succeed and everything I put my hand forward to do will prosper I thank God for his mighty power provision and plan through Christ Jesus our Lord Amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we just pray over these tithes, these offerings, and these gifts. As we give faithfully, Father God, I pray that you would uh, take these funds and wherever they go out, to whatever missionary, to whatever ministry, Father God, multiply it. Let them be seeds of salvation that come back tenfold in harvest. And bless the giver in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. So it is also time for the testimony portion of our service. We like to break it into our service because we believe it's very important that as Christians, as believers, when God does something good for us, that we, we testify about it. We give the story because in the Bible it says that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies, which are two completely different things. You know, Jesus did so much when he poured out his blood on the cross for us but to put the fact that we have to give testimony about what he's doing for us because it strengthens the body. So if anybody has a testimony they'd like to come and share, please come up and do so. We welcome you, even if it's something little, if it's something big, or if it's not done yet. If you're still going through that storm where there's going to be a testimony, please come up and share. Hi, Chris. Um, about two weeks ago, we're getting ready to sell our car, and Larry took it in to get detailed, and, you know, it hadn't been detailed for quite a while, and uh, on the inside, and two years ago, my sister was out here, and took her to the airport, and she called me when she got to the airport, or when she got home to Pennsylvania, and she said, I lost mom's wedding ring, so she's had mom's wedding ring since mom passed. And she said, I'm sure it's in the second bedroom. That's the last time I saw it, you know, blah, blah. So we tore the second bedroom apart, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I get in my car after Larry has the detailing done, and I look in my cup holder, and here is the wedding ring. It was a praise God. So I think it must have been like under the mats or something this whole time. But the guy at the detailing, I still haven't written a letter, but I'm going to write them a letter just to say thank you so much, because that meant so much not just to me, but to my poor sister who thought she lost my mom's ring. So God always helps us find things that are lost. And then yesterday, we had another little, you know, escalation. Larry says he was out weeding in the morning. He's out doing stuff. He had the car out. And he said, um, I lost my hearing aid. <laughs> so he lost one of his hearing aids. So we go back outside. He needs his hearing aids. It saves some fighting between us. So... Um, and we're going out of town on Thursday because we are going to sell the car. So um, anyway, praise the Lord. All of a sudden, we come back in from outside, and here it is right in front of the chair that he was sitting in. 
<laughs> so we thought maybe the cat had got it. I don't know. But anyway, just we just want to thank God for his faithfulness. You know, when you tithe, it's not just return of money, but it's return of those little things like that that mean so much to you and just saved us so much. So I just thank God for that. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Asher. I'm sorry. Um, a few weeks ago, my cat blackness disappeared. And this three weeks, this lady found him, took off his collar and got my mom's address. And we got a message saying, he is on my porch. What should I do? And we come rushing and she says we get another text message from her and saying I tracked him in the garage we get him maybe 10 o'clock at night get home at 11 and uh, this Saturday would have been six weeks he's been gone and my cat's arrived so just praise God yeah that cat was over by the airport we don't know we have our suspicions about how we got there, but he didn't wander to the airport. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, that is a good testimony. God brought back, and that's my wife's, like, cat. That, that thing is, one time Dusty and I are standing on the porch having a serious conversation, and the cat comes wandering. And we got the cat from Dusty in Odessa, by the way, but it was this big. He comes wandering onto the porch, and Dusty's in a serious sense. He goes, and what in the heck is that? Because this cat's enormous. But Anybody else have any a testimony they'd like to share? I see you looking at your wife. What do you, what, what do you got, Juice? Look at him. I'm calling you out, bro. You, you got something? No. Okay. All right. No pressure. <laughs> you know, uh, we're about to sing this song called Egypt, and uh, it was just funny about how um, I was just reminiscing with Jerry and my wife this morning about uh, how we, I am not very old, but I relate a lot to a lot of the older generation because I grew up very poor. So we were talking about the cars that were given to us and the TVs that were given to us were still black and white and uh, just crazy stuff. So no matter what I was watching, it was in black and white. And uh, I was talking about a car that turned left and honked the whole way and uh, just the struggles of being poor. So I relate to the older generation in that way. And uh, we're going to sing this song. It's called Egypt. And the first line is, I won't forget the promise of how you brought deliverance and exodus of my heart. So it's very important why we do testimonies, why we talk about this stuff. Take a middle, in the middle of worship, which is weird. I don't know if any other church I've ever been to has done this, but it's because we want to remember that God has brought us. He's, he's parted seas. He's made impossible possible that he's delivered us from so much. And we need to think about that and keep remembering. Like if we remember, like Amanda and I, when we were first... Um, married we lived in this apartment and i want to take asher there because you'd shut the door you still see the daylight around it you know it was 400 square feet didn't have ac it was, it was crazy but you know we remember from where we where god brought us right and where we are now and we praise him in that and that's why we do testimonies that's why we sing these types of songs so let's stand i, I want to add john to that the um the story of egypt is also the, the next part is and amanda really taught me all of this is that um, God provided manna for them yeah. because his mercies are new every day. And so as we were getting ready to play this song, I'm thinking in my head, like, God delivered me from a lot of things. And when it was really hard and the things he was delivering me from, I just remember thinking, like, okay, today's a new day and today is hard, but he's going to provide enough manna for me today. But not too much, not too much, because then then I'd get too greedy, Right. So it's just going to be just enough. So as we're singing this song, I want you to envision whatever you need deliverance from today. I want you to envision God splitting the sea. Like use your imagination and watch God split the sea for you and watch the manna fall from the sky for you. You know, uh, the, the idea of mercy should make you want to pray, praise, Okay. So, uh, think about it this way. Take your age and multiply it by 365. Okay? Larry, you got it? His, bir his birthday was Friday. Happy birthday, Larry. So, take your age and you multiply it by 365. That is the number of times God has shown you a new mercy. 
It says his mercies are new every morning. You know why that is? Because you probably sin differently today than you did yesterday. And he's that merciful that every single day you wake up, he has new mercies for you. Isn't that amazing? Does that make you want to praise him or what? So let's do that. Let's praise him. I won't forget the wonder of how you brought deliverance, the exodus of my heart. You found me, you freed me, held back the waters for my release. Oh, Yahweh, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of by day, a cloud by day, is a sign that you are with me, the fire by night, is a guiding light to my feet, you found, you found me, you freed me, held back the waters for my release, oh Yahweh, oh the God, here we go, you're the God who fights for me. Lord of every victory, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have torn apart the sea, you have led me through the deep, hallelujah, hallelujah. You torn, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of into my Egypt You took me by the hand You marched me out of freedom into the promised land Now I will not forget you God, I'll sing of all you've done Death is swallowed up forever by the fury of your love You stepped into my Egypt You took me by the hand you march me out of freedom into the promised land. Now I will not forget you, God. I'll sing of all you've done. Death is swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. You're the God. You're the God who fights for me, Lord of every. Lord of every victory, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have torn apart the sea, you have led me through the deep, hallelujah, hallelujah. Cause you stepped into my Egypt, 
You took me by the hand You marched me out of freedom Into the promised land Now I will not forget you, God I'll sing of all you've done Get this world up forever By the fury of your love Cause you stepped into my aging You took me by the hand You marched me out of freedom Into the promised land Now I will not forget you, God I'll sing of all you've done Get this swallowed up forever By the fury of your love You're the God who fights for me Lord, I have every victory I You have torn apart the sea You have led me You move, you make my heart pound When you fill the room You're here and I know you are moving I'm here and I know you will feel me Come down Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound When you fill the room You're here and I know you are moving I'm here and I know you will Moving over the wall, Spirit, come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the Spirit was moving over the wall, Spirit, come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the spirit, as the spirit was moving over the water, the spirit come move over us, come rest, come rest on us, come rest on us. So come down, spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Come down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Fire and wind. Fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest. Come on, sing fire and wind one more time. Fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Come down. Come down, 
Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you will move me. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Come down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you will move me. I'm here and I know you will fill me. see heaven today. Pour your spirit out on all mankind. Today, God, today. Yes, Lord. I see glory 
falling in this place I see hope restored and healing of all disease and I sing praises I sing praises and give you honor worthy Jesus give you praise and all of the honor you are God the one we live for we give you praise and all of the glory God and we give you praise and all of the honor you are our God the one we live for we give you praise and all of the glory I sing praises and give you honor, worthy Jesus. I see glory falling in this place. I see hope restored and healing of all disease. And I sing praises, I sing praises, give you honor. Worthy Jesus And we give you praise And all of the honor You are God The one we live for We give you praise And all of the glory God And we give you praise And all of the honor You are
Thank you so much for this time of worship. Hallelujah, Father God. Be blessed, be honored, be glorified. We just love you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come in here and have your way. We give you permission today. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen. 